Good afternoon, everybody. It's about 20 after 4. Back over the garage to get some work done. A little bit of a uh, longer absence than normal. I did go to the car show on Sunday that I had mentioned up outside of Hartford. There was probably about 40 or 50 cars there. It was my local club, so it was a lot of fun. I was a raffle ticket volunteer guy, so it was neat to meet everybody and, and talk to all the different uh, the people that show up to the, showed up there. Probably about nine examples of Spitfire and GT6s, so it was good to see that many. There's usually not that many even at uh, Harkness, which is a really big show. But, uh, but it was fun, so I had a good time. I didn't take any video, but I did take several pictures. When I get uh, another blog post up, I'll get those pictures up. But for tonight, I'm going to concentrate, I think, most of my work on this front balance here. I've got some welding work to do and also some paint that I want to try to get behind that I'm going to get on the brackets, these brackets here. Uh, before I weld them in, I want to get paint behind them. So I'm going to work on that and uh, mix up a very little bit of epoxy primer if I get that far and, and just shoot it with a paintbrush so that I can get in there behind the stuff that I wouldn't be able to get with a spray gun. I have a, a long reach hammer on order to get that one spot by the turn signals on the passenger side over there that uh, you can see I'm zooming in here that got messed up. I did work on that a little bit on the last visit, but it didn't really show anything, so I didn't take any video of it. But uh, probably going to not play with the bonnet too much tonight, if at all, while I work on this guy. I think this is going to take most of my time, if not all of it. So that's, uh, that's my plan for this evening. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's the front balance. I've already got hit the inside of it once with just a greenie, the, uh, this thing. Scotch brake pad, we call them greenies. Uh, so it's, it's pretty much a mess dirt-wise. Not too much damage, but I'm just going to go through and try to clean that up. There's all sorts of paint runs and everything. I don't know. They look relatively dark, so I assume that that's from the, the respray, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, like all up in here and everything, if you can see that, that's going to be, well, you can't probably see it very well, but that's going to be hard to get in there, probably get into the wire brush. And then again, un underneath here, I may just hit it all with a paintbrush. Um, I haven't quite decided how else I'm going to approach this. And then the other concern that I have is that there's no real point of reference for the curvature of this thing outside of just kind of feeling the general, you know, how it should feel as it moves across itself. So I may run into some problems with, you know, getting it, not being able to get it exactly right. So I'm just going to, you know, play with it for a little while and clean it up and see what I can do. So just some, just kind of going at it here. pretty good crease right here or pretty good dent unfortunately it's right on the hard curve so what I'm trying to do here is just use the chisel end this guy here this hard edge and bang it down I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it, get it like that or not alright so now the problem I'm having so if you can see that, that flexes like that. If you can, no, you can't see that. See how that flexes like that? Right here on this big old brake, as you would suspect. So what I think I might have to do, and I don't really want to do this, but I think what I might be able to do, I'm going to have to weld that piece back in, and then I can bolt this in. It's like a little, again, I said I don't remember where this goes. I still, I think it just hangs off the front of the frame. And that's how the balance attaches. Um, so if I do that, I'm going to have to take this little piece and get that guy welded in into here. But I got to get that cleaned up under there. But I'm going to have to use weld through primer because I'm not going to mix up mix up epoxy just for this. So I'll have to shoot all this with weld through and then get that bolted up. So I'm going to go down that path for now and 
we'll go from there. So everything's painted and as aligned as I can figure to get it. Um, this spot weld was not there, or at least not well um, done. This one was there, so I've lined that one back up. Essentially, the this piece aligns flush with this side, so that's what gives it the angle here when it's turned like this. And you can see there's about a distance there, but you can't even compare side to side, because if you look at this, this clip overhangs the valance itself. So if you try to compare it to this, well, that clip uh, hangs inside the valance. So there's no real way to do right to left thing or whatever. You would think that these wouldn't be aligned at all on the car because I would assume that the frame is centered up. So I, I don't know. Enough adjustments, hopefully. Big slots. Hopefully that gives it to me. You know, whatever. So I'm going to get him weld that up and then get back to hammer and dolly work. Front balance back over to the bench. Got the these bracket pieces cleaned up for the most part. It's a little difficult to get in the nooks and crannies. Still need to hit them with some sandpaper to, to really rough them up prior to the epoxy. Um, but again, I don't think I'm going to get to mixing that up. It's about quarter after six right now. Now I'm going to continue on with some hammer and dolly work and some cleaning. You can see there's a big dip right there. And then I think what's happening is, I don't know if I can really show it to you at this angle. But this has got a certain level to it, and then as I get on the inside, it starts to curve in. So it looks like this whole piece around in this area got hit, probably, and got hung up on this lip here, and just drag it in and then up. So I've got to try to, if you can see that, I don't know if you can or not. You might be able to. Not, not too good. But that really starts to dip in right here, and this angle starts to kind of go down. So I want to try to lift that out a little bit. I'm just going to smack around this seal here and see what I can do. Hammer, uh, hammer from the bottom, dolly on the top just to prevent any massive deformation. But uh, a lot of, a lot of work here, as you would suspect, for you know the the leading edge of a of a car moving down the road that's only four inches off the ground. Kind of done. Clean enough. Looks shiny and brand new, doesn't it? Get ready to put it on the car. Good. Call it. Good low spot right here. Probably mainly right here, mainly because of my uh, welding work. Face of these hammers get pretty uh, dirty and everything. I like to take <coughs> that stuff off. Um, one, just to keep the hammers nice. And two, because when it starts to matter, that you know, some of that stuff will get imparted into the panel, especially if it's thick, heavy stuff. So I'm not going to stress over it too much, but I don't want big chunkies on there either. 
a little painful to work on this thing. As you might suspect, since it's an odd shape. Definitely harder than I would normally bang. It's right on the weld. That's where it's sinking. So that's gotten really hard from the weld metal. Well, that's definitely a filler spot right there. Might have showed you this before. Big old divot right there. You see how bad that is. At least I think you can in profile. It's right where that bracket is. Can't get behind that. Maybe I can. I'm going to try and get in there with the with the pick and see if I can do anything with that. Yeah, that's, that crease is right on that. Won't be able to get to it at all, I don't think. Work our way down. It's all messed up there. Obviously, big old mess up there. We start to get into here. From here is where it starts to get away from me. Well, I don't know if that's working or not. I guess it is a little bit. Alright, well, as a uh, recent commenter, last, either today or yesterday, said on one of my videos, I didn't get anywhere near as far as I thought I would. It's kind of the nature of the beast, is what, what he said. So, uh, I did clean off, if you can, I'll swing over there. I did clean off that corner over there, where the one bracket will go, and got the brackets also cleaned up. I just remember where I put them. See that guy? Nope, not that guy. I will go in here, something like that, we'll spot that weld in. And what I'm going to do now, clean up the other side similarly, using uh, various air tools and sandpaper and stuff. And that's uh, probably going to be it for the night. It's about uh, almost 8 o'clock, so getting near my school night time. I think I've showed you these before. These are the, those little versions of the black stripping discs that I have for my four and a half inch grinder. These are little two inch guys. Found these on Amazon. I I'd like I said, I think I've showed these to you before, but these things are hold up pretty well. This is quite a bit of work on that. Um, work just as effective, but for smaller areas than the black ones do for the grinder. So they do make a mess in general. I spit stuff all over the place. Every once in a while I have a problem with these rolling, spinning off at 20,000 RPM across the garage, trying to kill somebody. But uh, just kind of give them an extra little turn and they, they work out all right. All right, about 10 after 8, calling it a night. No work on the bonnet tonight, but I did get work on this front uh, front valance. Got uh, got to dry some of this. I brushed it all down, cleaned it up a little bit. It looks a little bit better. This is essentially all surface rust here that I'll have to take down to bare metal to get all that roughness out. Um, but I got these areas cleaned up where those brackets are going to go and get them essentially sort of ready for primer, epoxy primer that is, with a paintbrush. And then I started working the the dings and the dents and you can see at least I hope so all the high spots and the low spots down there and that's just a hot mess um, I'm not sure if my expertise is gonna be able to really take care of something like that and this thing is incredibly awkward to work with since it's bent and everything so and curved and all sorts of complicated stuff but uh, but we'll see how it goes 
So I'm running almost uh, 950 subscribers, so I appreciate that very much. Thanks all for watching and liking, spreading the word and subscribing. Uh, greatly appreciate that. So pushing for that last 50 or so. But otherwise, um, in the real world, obviously Hurricane Florence is, is barreling towards the East Coast. Looking like uh, North South Carolina, maybe Georgia. So please keep those people in your thoughts and your prayers. Hopefully all of those people were able to escape to safety and they're with uh, their family and loved ones somewhere uh, and higher ground. I spent a couple years in Charleston during my career and that was always a, a constant fear during this, this time of the year. Thankfully I never had to evacuate or anything like that, but, uh, but we could still see the ravages of Hugo in, from 1989 and I was there in, in the early 2000s. So that's you know long lasting and devastating effects. So hopefully it'll, uh, everybody will be safe and and uh, that, that's what's really important. So again, have a good rest of your week. See you guys sometime this weekend. Cheers.